So I'd say my most memorable part of being a part of Pride was filming the NSA tours back in August. I was actually introduced to the program through the NSA tours back in my freshman year. So being able to come back two years later, being a part of the program, walk in the same halls, filming the same tours was fulfilling, exciting. And I guess in that moment, I felt like I accomplished the reason why I joined the program in the first place. Another reason why is because it was actually the first time I got to um, like actually meet, bond, and work with my new execs, captains, committee members. And then a bonus would be I actually got to see my all-time favorite, Mr. Viola. The DC photo shoot was the first time that a large group of us was able to get together in person since last school year. It was great to see everyone and we got some amazing pictures to document the start of this year. My favorite SLC memory from this year is probably Trunk or Treat from Halloween. I don't know, just something about standing in the freezing cold rain outside the bus tunnel with Helena, repeating the same greeting over and over again to like 200 cars. It was just, it was a really nice bonding time for us. But I mean, on a more serious note, I really enjoyed being able to bring the community together and see the smiles on all the kids' faces, all the teenagers' faces, all the adults' faces, and even our faces. It was really exciting to see all the parents and all the teachers and all the little ones on Halloween and them being dressed up. That was my favorite memory. My favorite event slash memory of this year was the Trunk or Treat. I really had a blast um, working the event with everyone in SLC and it was my first time running an event uh, as an SLC member, so it was really memorable. And yeah, it was just nice seeing everybody and working with people. The Paint the Pillars project had been long overdue, so the fact that we were able to get it done this year was amazing. It was so cool to have help from special education students, teachers, and staff members from the office. The final product looks great, and it's really cool to know that we left our mark on Woodbridge. Literally. Haha. <laughs> Not all projects that we did this year were set events, but were instead ongoing endeavors that were continued throughout the year. Some of these include gift bag drop-offs, welcome to the bridge sessions for new students, maintaining our SALC social medias, and various Nats Do Co tasks, duties, and videos that we've had to keep up with and complete throughout the year. This year definitely did not look like what any of us expected, but honestly, I'm so grateful for the past year that we've had um, in this class, despite the fact that everything's virtual and it's been really hard to be able to work on service projects. Um, we, together as a committee and a program, have managed to persevere past any of the deterring factors. Um, and we managed to work together this year to raise a lot of money for pediatric cancer and raise a lot of awareness for other um, causes such as many different racial um, groups and nationalities and um, different medical causes and things like that. My favorite project this year was probably December because when I started in an SCLC1, my philanthropy project was also raising awareness for December. And since then, I've become super passionate about preventing and raising awareness for human trafficking. So it was really cool that I got to head the charge again this year. Although we were, you know, distant learning and we were all virtual, I got to get creative with my outfits, all while bringing awareness to such an important cause of human trafficking. Multicultural Week was a wonderful event where the students of our school got to show their culture and also be represented. We were able to produce seven different videos regarding this beautiful location. Yeah.
Even though this year has been different from years prior, I'm still grateful that our appreciation was still able to do its staff appreciation projects, as well as our staff appreciation form, which made it really personal for teachers and I'm sure it made their day. I'm also grateful that we were still able to collaborate with other peas. Um, for teacher appreciation, I really appreciate everyone coming to help on their own time and it was just a fun experience and I'm glad that we could still um, work with each other. And I just want to thank everyone who I've worked with in the past few years. My favorite memory of this school year is giving the teachers their appreciation gift for Teachers Appreciation Week and seeing their smiles was just honestly like the best. It honestly made my week. One of my favorite SLC memories I had this past school year was probably Bring Your Child to Work Day. So you would interact with kids, and not only kids, but teachers' kids. They were so funny, and it was just amazing how the outcome came out when, for the amount of kids that came, and how much fun they had, and just be, being able to do fun activities, like make art, build blocks with them, which is so much fun. My favorite memory from this year was planning this banquet. Um, I mean, who can say no to free food and cheesecake? Um, and I guess the excitement of seeing everyone. Just kidding. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a bittersweet moment, but I'm excited to see how it turned out. I think my favorite memory in SLC was two years ago when we did the OHH drop-offs and went to Aquafon Elementary School. We played dodgeball. We did relay races with like the scooters. Um, we all just had a really good time. We all had so much fun. We were laughing. Um, and it just felt good being around the kids and everything. So, yeah, that's my favorite memory. My favorite memory of SALC is when we were setting up for the homecoming dance last year. Um, it was really fun. I remember being with Alex and Adriana, and we were hanging things up in the hallways and listening to music while we worked. My favorite SALC memory is definitely the first day we stepped in the classroom, and Mr. Viola made us all sit by new people. And from that day on, I knew that we were all gonna be close friends and we we're gonna be close co cohort. And we're all still close now, so that holds to be true. And I'm really sad to leave this year, but I definitely knew walking into the classroom that day that this was gonna be a great group of friends and a great family to join. Thank you guys so much. And I'm so grateful that I got to spend this year with you, our last year. So exciting, so sad, bittersweet, but love you guys.